Talk about adding insult to injury, a family displaced by the explosion at Palolo Valley Housing earlier this month had their valuables stolen while they were evacuated. Manolo Morales spoke with the family. Well, Joe, the situation was bad enough when they found this out. But as the family explained what happened to us today, they realized things got even worse. Sandy and Jack Thompson have had a trying couple of weeks. There was an explosion at their next door neighbor's apartment on April 3rd, so they were one of six families displaced and have been living in a hotel because the building might not be stable. When they were finally able to return to grab their belongings, their safe with all their valuables was gone. When you came in here, what did you think? Oh, I cried. You cried? Yeah, I yeah. cried. I'm eating my safe. She tells me that the safe had expensive jewelry that was given to her by her mother and grandmother, as well as other jewelry from her daughter. Important documents like birth certificates, passports, and citizenship papers were also taken. The family tells me that the safe was actually in this corner. There was a piece of cloth on it, so it looked like a nightstand. So the family tells me the thieves actually had time to really rummage through everything to find the safe. The theft happened Monday night. Thieves ripped open a 2 by 4 that was used to barricade the front door and also broke the lock. You know, yesterday, everything okay. Right now, somebody coming. They broke now again. It was during our interview when the family realized the thieves broke in again the following night by breaking the window in their second floor apartment. Yeah, yesterday, okay, everything okay. Oh yesterday. my God, I just realized that. This shouldn't happen. Like, this, all their belongings are still here, and um, somebody should help. The housing should help. We've increased patrols in the area. We added security lights to the building after the explosion, just because it's a sort of dark area of the property. And everybody's been trying to keep an eye out. Now, housing management told me this was the only unit burglarized. They also boarded up the window after we told them today that it was broken into. The Samson and family are scheduled to move to another unit on Friday. Joe.